Hi there, so today we're going to show you how to add GhostVPN to Kodi. Uh, GhostVPN is a VPN provider that provides security um, and a number of other features for your privacy for when you're viewing on Kodi. So the first thing that we want to go to and do is we want to have a look at uh, getting the repository downloaded and saved off to an NFS drive. So to do that we're going to navigate to um, GitHub uh, where we can provide where we can find the zomboided uh, repository. Uh, we're going to download that and then we're going to save that onto our NAS drive. So this is the uh, URL that you want to navigate to. and then you want to download the uh, zip file and save that to your NFS drive because we're going to be adding that later on. So we're going to save that onto our NAS drive overwrite the files, that's it And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our devices on GhostVPN. So you need to you need to have logged in, um, and we're going to go to my devices. We're then going to download um, the software that we need. Now we're going to be using a VPN from the UK, so this is the dial-up server name and the uh, username and password. Now the downloading of the configuration that consists of the certificate and the keys that we need for later on so we need to download those, we're going to save those again to the NAS drive and then we're going to be transferring those over to um, the Kodi box into the home directory. So we're going to save all that information and we're going to install, we're going to save that into our keys directory so we can find them later. Once we've got that downloaded, we're going to extract the keys and the certificates again onto our NAS drive. So you can see a file in there called OpenVPN, OVPN. Um, we don't actually use that at all. We're just interested in the client certificate and the client key. So we ex extract those, and then we're going to go and we're going to transfer them to our Kodi installation. So in my instance, um, we are going to be using SFTP. We're going to add the username and the password. And we're going to connect. And I've already created a keys directory here, so because I've done this to test this out, um, we want to copy all of the uh, all of the files across. Okay, so that's completed. That's added everything to our Kodi box. And the next thing that we need to do is we're going to go to our Kodi installation and install um, the VPN. Okay, so um, we've downloaded the repository. Now what we want to do is we need to add the repository to, or the repo to um, our installation. And then we can start uh, building up the VPN. So the first thing we want to go to is we want to go to add-ons. We're going to go up to the little box icon there and what we want to do is we want to install the repo from a zip file so we've, we've got that saved on our NFS file system so we're going to 
navigate to that and we are going to go into the Pi repos and we're going to install the uh, zomboided uh, repository from the zip file. That will take a few seconds to install. Um, there we go, so that's installed. Next what we can do is we're going to add the add-on, the Open VPN Manager from the repository. So we're going to go to the repository, we're going to go to services and we're going to install the Open VPN Manager. We do that by clicking on install. That will then download and install, which is completed successfully. That will then go off and make sure that all the dependencies are correct. And then it will ask us what we want to install. So in our case, we're going to use CyberGhost. And it's going to ask us for our username and password. So we enter our CyberGhost username and password. So this is specific to the VPN that you're setting up. And then the password. So we're going to say yes to that. And we have a premium account, so we're going to select that. Okay, so you want to go into the individual one, so you want to click on OK or switch between location and server views. And I am going to connect to the UK using UDP. And it's now going to ask us for our client certificate and keys so just make sure we've got those so I've copied mine to the um, home directory uh, and I'm going to install the client key first of all and then the client certificate and that's it so that shows us that we are now connected And that will start up and connect every time um, we use uh, we use Kodi. So if you want to use um, if you want to use Amazon Prime Video, then you won't be able to connect with a VPN. So they've disabled connecting to um, Amazon Prime Video on Demand with VPN Manager. So you need to disconnect that if you're going to be using that to connect 